What's well, going on people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos my name is Coco and on this channel I mostly speak about perfumes so if that's something that you're interested in you can go ahead click that subscribe button or you know, join the family thank you very much in today's video as you can already see from the title I'll be giving you my in-depth review on the new release from Lancome the Lanoui Tresor Le Parfum so if you're interested to hear my thoughts please continue to watch <laughs> Welcome back my pebbles, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well, how am I? Well, I'm running on four hours sleep and I'm trying to keep up with the comments in my comment section but that's neither here nor there. How are you guys enjoying the daily content? Are you happy with seeing my face every day? <laughs> Well, my darlings, today is Wow Me Wednesday. This is where I talk about a fragrance that made me say, wow, <laughs> you're actually not that bad. So the fragrance that I'll be reviewing is a new fragrance from Lancome, you know, the Lanoui Tresor line, the Le Parfum. Guys, you know me. Lancome, the Lanoui Tresor line, they can do no wrong in my eyes, okay? None. So you see with the OG Lanoui Tresor, listen, there's so many variations, there's so many different takes on it. This one, this fragrance here is literally my pride and joy. Like this is my life story. If you don't know what I mean by that, you can go and watch this video after you watch this one. Just to clear up a few things, but when I say this is me and me is this, yeah, my life story. So have they surpassed my expectations? Let's get into it. Quick talk about the packaging, same box as the others, but this one has a purple piping. And for the bottle, it's still in the diamond shape, but this bottle is dark purple and it's ombreing into a clear bottle. Around the neck of the fragrance, there's this purple velvet ribbon, adding that extra touch of elegance. I won't lie to you, I kind of wished I wore my purple velvet top to go along with the velvet ribbon that we have there, but I can't find the top, so <laughs> we move. So the top note in this fragrance is black currant. And for those that don't know, when true black currant is used in fragrances, it tends to come off as green, you know, like leafy green and somewhat like cat urine. But that's typically short lived in fragrances. But if we're talking about the fantasy note side of black currant, that tends to lean more to the fruitier accord, you know, the juicier side, the more syrupy side that we know in some of our fragrances that we love. So for the opening of this fragrance, you, oh, <laughs> Lancome, Jesus, hold on. You get this deep, dark, syrupy and succulent black currant. Shortly after pushing through that syrupy black currant is a rose that was bloomed to perfection. You guys know that I love a jammy rose and the rose in here is absolutely plush and it's like you're pouring the black currant syrup over it. That's the black currant and the rose in this fragrance. As we take a deep dive into the dry down, this is where the cacao comes forward and the cacao is just giving this fragrance some warmth. The cacao in here is giving me chocolatey goodness with a hint of powder. Think about the most decadent chocolate dessert, yeah? The most rich and dense chocolate dessert. And you know, like you have the dusting of chocolate powder on top. That's the cacao in here. Now for the patchouli. And for those that don't know, patchouli is considered to be a fixative in fragrances. Patchouli can help bring out other notes in fragrances by adding a sweet, spicy, earthy, or musky cake to the fragrance, depending on the notes. The patchouli in this fragrance is giving me this rich damp soil aroma with warm and slightly smoky undertone. Guys, you know I love me some patchouli. The patchouli in here, 10 out of 10. My darlings, this is absolutely gorgeous. Think about the OG, minus the excess sweetness from the strawberries, the caramel and the praline, but with added chocolate, warmth and slight earthiness. Mm, this is yummy. Hear me out, Lancome made this fragrance for me, okay? And no one can tell me otherwise. There's so many fragrance notes that they could have used in this fragrance, but they used cacao. And for those that don't know, cacao is the unprocessed version of cocoa. Guys, I'm cocoa! <laughs> Lancome knows how much I love this fragrance, yeah? They're like, you know what? Let's pay homage to our girl Coco. Let's surprise her with a fragrance note that we know she's gonna love and adore. Guys, they made this for me. Maybe you guys are watching this video and thinking that I'm delusional, but hear me out. <laughs> Delulu is a Salulu, okay? 
hear me out a lot of time us as content creators you know we produce videos and we're thinking that brands aren't watching us hello they are if we go back to when zara came out with the city collections you know with the energetic in new york da, 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 all of those fragrances i reviewed those fragrances yeah and after those eight fragrances i started the video and i was like zara do you have beef with paris where's paris why is paris not in the lineup Two weeks later, tell me why they came out with a Paris. I'm sorry? Yeah. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Quick interjection as I just mentioned Zara. So, the Emotions Collection and the City Collections is back. So, you know, like the Energetic in New York, Fashion in London, Ebony Wood, Water Lady Tea Dress, they're all back. They're just in different packaging. Same fragrances, different packaging. Now, let's go back to La Nuit Tresol for Farm. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. These brands are watching us. They're taking ideas from us. It's like, for example, we're talking about a fragrance. We're like, you know what? If this fragrance had this fragrance note, it would be better. Tell me why they came out with an intense with the same fragrance note we were talking about initially in our video. You get what I mean? They might not give us the recognition that we need because hello, we're a small fry. You get me? You know, we're a small speck of sand on this massive beach. You get me? So obviously we're not going to get the recognition, but us ourselves, we know deep down hey yeah you watch my video and you got inspiration from it as i said guys maybe i'm just delusional <laughs> who knows but no one can tell me that this fragrance wasn't made for me the marketing director the ceo someone has to come off their chair and tell me personally koi koi didn't make this fragrance for you but until then they made this fragrance for me okay yeah they did guys deep it of all the fragrance notes in the world and they use cocoa <laughs> i'm sorry yeah <laughs> yeah so do i smell the og in the leper farm yes hear me out how do they do it though because they took out all the notes added black currant and cacao but it still has lingering scents and traces of the og listen i don't know how it works baby but this smells good so if I was supposed to look at all the tresors that I have in my collection, I have the OG, I have the Intense, I have the Dentel Rose, I have the Fleur de Nuit, and I now have the Le Parfum. If I was ever supposed to rank, you know, the tresors that I have in my collection, the OG will forever be number one. Forever be number one, yeah? Number two, I won't lie to you, second place goes to the Le Parfum, yeah? This surprised me. And third place would go to the Intense, because the cherry that's in here, yeah there's only one tresor in the entire line that i didn't get my hands on and to this day to this day to this day to this day i still cry about it and it's the alifoli guys i remember when i smelt it and i i was moved i was like hello that was amazing but I didn't buy it. I know the damn fragrance is discontinued. But hear me out. If you have the Lanary Tresor a la Foley flanker in your collection and you're kind of tired of it, I'll gladly take it off your hands. Yeah, send it over to me. Or if you're trying to surprise me somehow because you like the content I give you and you want to buy it and ship it to me, I won't say no because <laughs> I've been on the hunt for a Lanary Tresor a la Foley. I've been on the the hunt on the hunt if you want to surprise me surprise me i'm just i'm joking but guys that's the only one that i've been wanting forever well my lovelies this is just a warm chocolatey rich earthy goodness of a sweet fragrance and i absolutely love it did it wow me yes it did this is lanoe tresor le parfum Hear me out, my darlings. If I had to break this down a bit more, okay. So you know the C Intense 2021 version, yeah? You know the black current that's in the opening? That's it in here. You know the cacao that's in the brass? That's what's in here. So you take the black current from the C, yeah? And you take the cacao from the Nebras and you put it in the OG Lanoitra so you have this. Guys, <laughs> to me, amazing. Simply amazing. Well, my darlings, that's Wow Me Wednesday done. Oh my God, do you know what I just clocked? The Lana Mitra Solar Parfum might not be released in America. Do you know what? Just like the Intense, because you guys didn't get the Lana Mitra Solar Intense, did you? Wow, you guys are going to miss out. But you know what? <laughs> There's loads of stuff that you guys have over there that we can't get over here. So, you know, 
as my nan always say, six are one and half a dozen are the next, guys. <laughs> something for something. <laughs> guys, sorry, the Delulu is a Salulu. <laughs> Well, my darlings, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. It's greatly appreciated. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to go out and smell this fragrance. Well, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> and also, let me know your favourite trestle from the line. Share this video with a mate. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.